Hello chess lovers, I have another mind-blowing game for you. With the white pieces playing Tapio Helen and his opponent is Yorki Kilti. I hope that I managed to pronounce their names correctly. The game was played in 1996 in Hyvinka, which is a town in Finland. Helen started with e4 and e5 by Kilti. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we see the Italian game, knight f6, two knights defense and d3. Another popular move is knight g5, which leads to very sharp lines, but in the game we see d3. Bishop c5, white castles kingside, d6, here comes the dark square, bishop, bishop g5, pinning the knight. Now black is playing h6, kicking away the bishop, and then a very aggressive move, g5, unpinning the knight and starting an advancement on the kingside. Bishop g3, and a powerful move by black h5, sacrificing the pawn on g5. Not suspecting anything, Tapio Helen captured on g5, which actually gives black advantage. Well, it was better to play h4 stopping black's further advancement, but instead we see knight takes g5. Here comes h4 allowing knight takes f7 as well. Now the queen and the knight are forked, but instead of moving away the queen under the fire, black played h takes g3, sacrificing the queen. We see knight takes d8, here comes the bishop, bishop g4. Queen d2, well if a move like queen takes g4, then simply knight takes g4. There is too much pressure on f2 square, also on h2. Now if a move like knight takes c6, then black can easily win the game after bishop takes f2 check. If rook takes f2, then g takes h2 check. Now if king h1, then knight takes f2 check mate. Or if king f1, then black is promoting the pawn to a queen, it's over. Or after knight takes g4, if a move like h takes g3, then simply king takes d8. And though white has three pawns against a piece, but black has a dangerous attack, there is too much pressure on f2 square, and soon black will also exploit the weakness of the h file. White is actually in trouble. That's why after bishop g4 we see queen d2. Here comes the knight knight d4, threatening knight e2 check or even knight f3 is playable. White played h3, trying to keep the h file closed. But if a move like knight c3, then knight f3 is simply crushing. If g takes f3, then bishop takes f3, and the threat is simply g takes h2 checkmate, and it turns out that white can't avoid the mating threat. This is just a fantastic position, and if a move like h3, then simply rook takes h3, and again white king is getting checkmated. Let's go back, that's why after knight d4 we see h3, but here comes knight e2 check. King h1, which is losing on the spot, well actually it was better to capture on e2, give up the queen and then play knight e6, if bishop b6 then knight c3, though of course after bishop takes f1 and then g takes f2, again black has advantage, but after knight e2 check we see king h1, and now you can pause the video and try to find black's next moves. Actually there is a mate in 2. Ready? In this position, Yorki Kilti played, rook takes h3 check, and after g takes h3, we see this fantastic bishop f3 checkmate. Yes, it's hard to believe, but this is a checkmate. This is not a bishop, this is a powerful elephant killing the enemy king. What a game! Thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.